Hello guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today we're gonna be doing some just home projects around the house. I feel like if you live in a house, there's always something to do. So we're just wanting to mark off a few of these projects so we can say they're finished. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and join my channel. But now let's jump straight into today's video. Okay, just to give you an idea of what's gonna be happening today, we're gonna be repainting a lot of these walls just because, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they are so filthy and gross, so we need to do some painting. Um, I need to do a little bit of decorating. I've been rearranging and whatever was here is gone, so I need to find something for there. <laughs> we need to install, I ordered a light, it's supposed to be here today. I have not been able to find a light here that I like, so I went in a completely different direction, so I'll show you when that arrives. Hopefully we can get that installed today. Um, we're also gonna be spray painting these handles. We've already taken them off because they're just so bad and I found a spray paint, like a gold color I like better. So we're gonna be working on that too along with anything else I can come up with. So let's get to going. So here's a look at the handles so you can kind of see them before I spray paint them. I know I forgot to show you with them like on the actual cabinets, but they were just super worn and it's all rubbing off so they just needed to be sprayed. Um, this is the gold spray paint I'm going to be using. I've used all different kinds, colors, and brands, but this is by far my favorite so I'll leave it linked down below in my description box. But I like to just do this outside. If it's super windy, I do it in my garage. Um, but I just put down a piece of cardboard or an old sheet or towel and then spray them. It is so quick and easy to do. So when spray painting, always do the back of the piece first and let it dry and then flip it because you don't ever want to put your front side of something on its back just in case it were to get messed up. So I always just start with the back and then flip it over. Then once I finish spray painting the front of these, they're good to go. I never actually have to lay them against the board. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these sprayed and then we'll let them dry and we're going to be heading on to the next project. Okay, so while those are drying, I brought them inside just because it is so hot and humid, but I wanted to show you what we're using to paint the walls and we're just touching them up. So we're not painting the entire thing, just like a big section, basically from like, I don't know, from like our shoulders down, kind of where kids touch them. So this is the paint we use. I do not recommend it at all. We just have to use it because that's what our builder used originally. And if we wanna change this up, we'd have to paint all the entire walls or it's not gonna match up perfectly and we're just not ready to do that. Now the paint color we love. So just have this film or you know made in like a different um, paint can and it's Revere Pewter. So there's all the numbers if you need it. So like I said, we love the color. We just don't love this cheap paint. And then he will be taping off. And then he just likes to use a brush. You guys always say, get him a roller. He does not like a roller. He just wants to paint it with a brush. So it's not me, it's him. <laughs> Okay, so number one tip when you're painting, tape off. 
sure. <laughs> it'll look so much more professional and you'll be glad. It'll save lots of cleanups. Touch-ups. Touch-ups. It's like the worst part of painting, but the most important part of yeah. painting. So definitely take the time to do it. Another tip, go ahead and just take a few seconds and take off all your like switch plates. Otherwise you're gonna paint them and have to clean them up versus just painting real close to it and putting it on when you're done. So it takes less than what, 30 seconds? Yeah, 30 so, seconds. I think the hardest thing to painting is just prepping. It takes a lot of work, but the end result is definitely worth it. Okay, so while Chase is finishing up that hallway, I wanna move on to the next thing of the list so I can be working while he can. It just moves faster that way. And I wanna decorate this little corner space over here. I've been meaning to do it and just haven't had time. So I thought I'll definitely get it done today. Okay, I've been going through and just pulling out extra pieces in my house. I like to just keep decor pieces that I love, even if I'm not using them. Now I don't keep a lot, but I keep an area full of it. So now I'm gonna kind of work on this little corner back here to see if I can find something that works. Okay, I think I'm liking this setup really well. I love using these candles around my house because they're on timers and they turn on in the evenings and then turn off after we go to bed. And I just love the little subtle glow. So I think it'll be pretty back here in this um, corner at night just because it's super dark. But let me know, do you like this gold cake stand or this one with the white on it? I'm leaning a little bit this way, but definitely let me know down below in the comments section. Okay, since this is the exact same paint, I wanted to show you guys, we're not like painting all the way up here because that's fine, it's not dirty. It's just kind of, you can see right here, from here down we're painting. I just think kids like take their hands and run down it <laughs> for some reason, but it's just dirty. So we're freshening it up, but once it dries, you won't be able to tell because it's the exact same paint. Now, if you're getting a different color or a different brand, you can't do that don't do what we're doing. This yeah. is only because we have the exact same paint. So when it dries, you're not going to be able to see a line. I'll show you later when this dries so you can tell. Um, but that's what we're doing. So it's just from about here down and then the walls are going to look brand new. They already look so much better. Like I wish I could like show you from here to here, but because of shadows and lighting it just doesn't make a difference but in real life this is like clean and fresh and this is like so dirty guys i'm trying to get clips to show you like how dirty our walls are here's like black spots which that's not even dirty that's just from like my frame hitting it but i wish we could show on camera how dirty our walls are aren't they dirty yeah they're really bad but it's like they don't it's hard to tell it doesn't show up on my camera for some reason so we're not just painting to paint. <laughs> we would not do this for fun. 
<laughs> Painting is not fun, it's just needed. It, George, we don't bark at the Amazon truck, they're our friend. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go out here and get the light. I'm so excited. Okay, guys, I just opened it up and it's like antique rose gold, it's not like our gold at all. See that? Like it's gonna be hanging above this. So, what we bought was um, a chandelier. I'll try to like add a picture on the screen for you guys so you can see what it looks like. So we've always had a light hanging, but I really don't like it blocking the window. It doesn't block me so much, but it does block Chase. So I was wanting to do one that, you know, hangs down just right here. So I found a little chandelier, but it's, I mean, I chose gold, but apparently this is, you know, like, it's like these are even two different colors. Like this has a much more rose pinky tint. This would have been okay. It's a little bit lighter. I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay guys, I'm considering spray painting it just to keep it. There's our Alexa telling us <laughs> the lamp was delivered. I'm considering keeping it and just spray painting it gold myself, which I don't love doing. I don't love buying new pieces and having <laughs> to fix it. Yeah, but it was also a good deal and I've looked a long time to find something so he's gonna hold it up here it has all the crystals to it so you guys haven't seen the full piece yet and these pieces are different colors I don't know if it's because you just won't see that later on I don't know what they were thinking but he's gonna hold it up here just to kind of get an idea on size and height because we don't want to paint it and then not like it and then be stuck with it so he's gonna hold it up here for me and see kind of what we it through just so you can see exactly what it's okay. Okay, he held it up there and I think I'm really gonna like it. I mean, I don't love that it didn't come in the right color, but I just wanna get it over with. I'm so sick of staring at the other light. So I'm just gonna use the same um, metallic gold spray again. I picked this up from Lowe's, but I'll link it down below because it's a really good gold. So this is where like the light bulbs are gonna go. I stuffed them with cotton balls just so I don't mess up any of the electric part. And then I'm also gonna keep this facing down because all the wires are here and that's what's gonna be up against the ceiling so it doesn't matter anyways. This is what's gonna be hanging upside down. So I'm just gonna have to pay really close attention that I don't miss anything. These are some screws that go on it. And then all the crystals are clear, so those won't matter. So let's go outside and work on these. Just so you guys can see the crystals before I go out, Chase wanted to make sure I liked them before I spray painted, which I don't think there's a crystal that I don't love. <laughs> these are gorgeous, look at that. All I can keep thinking is that these would be so pretty on my Christmas tree. I may need to order this light and just use the crystals for my Christmas tree. Chase laughs, but we might be getting one of these on our <laughs> doorstep. It was only 35, I don't know if I mentioned that. So I think it's a really good price for a chandelier. Okay, I can't vlog outside because everybody's mowing and it's windy, but that was super easy to spray paint. So if you guys want that and it doesn't come in the correct gold, it's so easy to spray paint. So don't let that stop you. Um, Chase is moving on now to this wall. It's smaller, so it'll go faster. And then I think that whole hallway will be done because he had worked on the other two walls in another video or on another day, I don't remember if we filmed it. <laughs> but now I'm gonna just start prepping this for Chase so when he's done, 
we can hook this up once it dries. So I'm gonna start taking all the crystals out. These crystals are gorgeous. They are so pretty. I love the way they wrapped them so they didn't get scratched at all. Like I mentioned earlier, this chandelier is only 35 bucks. So this wouldn't be good for a large space. This is really good for like a laundry room, a closet, a hallway above your sink. But if you're looking for a really pretty statement piece and you're on a budget, I just felt like $35 was amazing. So I'll definitely leave this link down below in my description box. Okay, next painting tip is remove your tape before it dries on too much or it can mess up the paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking that off. Okay, and right here, this is short girl problems. Chase like looked over at me and he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm just trying to get the tape, but I got it and I didn't need help. But I also wanted to let you guys know, I constantly get questioned about my music and where I get it and what the songs are called. Um, Epidemic Sound is what I use and they actually have a 30 day free trial. So I just wanted to share that with you guys just in case you guys want to download any of that music or check it out or just see what I use. Or if you're here on YouTube and you're at like the beginning of your career definitely look into them they're like the best around and like I said you get 30 days free so I'll leave that link down below in my description box just in case you want to try them out So if you've never really painted, just so you know, paint actually dries really, really fast. I think ours is flat too, so it tends to dry a little bit faster. But while Chase heads on to the next space, I just kind of come in behind him and put like the switch plates back on and hang up the decor. Right here, we got a little bit of paint on the floor. If you have carpet, definitely cover it. But with a wood floor, you can just wipe it right up. It's not that hard. Um, but you could cover that if you don't want to get your floors dirty. But there was just a few spots and it always cleans up super easy. Okay, this is looking really, really good, but I'm gonna go ahead and do one more coat on it just to be safe that I didn't miss any spots. Plus, I have plenty of paint, so it's just better to overdo it than to underdo it because once it's hung, you're not gonna wanna take it back down. Now it's time to put back on our handles that we spray painted. So if you don't wanna to have to worry about touching up your handles, you could just buy like the rest of our gold ones. Um, we just bought, I don't know why we spray painted these. I think I just like the design. We may eventually have to just buy them in gold. But if you're on a budget and you're wanting to update your house, you're wanting to sell your house, um, definitely just spray paint your hardware because it'll update it easy and cheaply just like this so when we had this they were like bronze but i really love them gold yep i like that style too yeah i think that's why i don't think i could find these in gold i think that's why we end up um just spraying them it was just easier
So if you're trying to like refresh your home or a space or you're trying to get it ready to sell, paint is going to go such a long way. It's super budget friendly. It is going to be a little bit of elbow grease, but it's going to make your house feel and smell like new again, especially if you're selling it. Um, so definitely paint those walls, paint your hardware, grab a can of spray paint. That's going to do a lot. Also change out your light switches. If they're super dated or dirty, that is something very inexpensive you can do. Just run down to your like local hardware store and just making small changes like that really will make the space feel new again. Okay, so Chase just finished up painting all the walls in the living space. There's a few bedroom walls, but we're gonna do them a different day. But it looks so much better. We're letting them dry before we like push the furniture back. But now he's gonna start taking this light down so we can put together the new one. Okay, I get asked a million times a day what kind of light bulbs we use. You guys know it's always bright in our house. I just filmed a nighttime clean with me. If you missed it, definitely go back and watch it. You guys seem to love it, but you wanted to know why my house was so bright. We love daylight bulbs. We switch them for filming purposes, but I will never go back. It just makes everything look so much brighter and cleaner, even if it's not. Um, we have all the ones we bought from Amazon linked in our store down below, but we also find them at Walmart, Lowe's, just anywhere that sells light bulbs. Okay, so it's a little just tedious hooking these on, but that's just kind of the name of the game when you buy a chandelier. So it is upside down, so when it's hanging, it'll look a lot prettier. But I'm excited to get this hung. How's it going up there? It's good, it's ready to mount. So we just gotta finish the crystals and then we're ready to wire it. Perfect. And hang it up, get okay. close. We'll tag team this and then get yeah. it hung. Note to self when you're putting these on because it's a little tedious there is a front and a back <laughs> so like this prettier sites out on the front we're having to twist a few of them but it's it's gorgeous for 35 bucks you can't beat this I can't wait to see it anytime you're working on home projects your house is always gonna get worse before it gets better all I can say is kind of clean as you go that's what I just do in life in general but definitely with projects as Chase finishes up one project, I just kind of swoop in behind him and clean up that space and just get it prepped and ready to go. I feel like that's the easiest way to do it. Otherwise, you're going to finish all your projects and your house is going to be a tornado. So definitely just finish a project, clean up, and then move on to the next one. Okay guys, it is finished and it is gorgeous. I don't know if it's gonna come across on camera, but I am in love with it. Okay, and what I love about this now is it doesn't block our window because this is normally open. I'm trying to shut it just so you guys can kind of see what the light looks like. But now I've always wanted to get a sign for up here, but it was being blocked by the light, like the string. So now if we wanna put something up there, we can. It just like goes with all the other lights, like the chandelier over here. 
I am so happy with this. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I hope this gave you some motivation to tackle some of the projects that you guys have on your list because it feels so good when it's done. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.